I get this a lot on uh, questions about these fire sticks. I'll get people call me up or write me and say, I can't find my apps that you put on there for me. Well, they're still there. Even if your fire stick signed out and you signed it back in, if you did not reset to factory, then those apps are still there. And one way to find them is to press and hold your home button down. It's the one with the house. Until you see that picture there, then you choose apps. And you look through here. Now, if you notice, you got a lot of cloud apps there. Now, to make this process easier, which if you signed in and out, I'll go ahead and tell you right now, if you go left on your outer ring, it's going to take you to the bottom, and the last apps you added are going to be there. But otherwise, uh, you may have a lot of these cloud apps, and you got to look around. It's real easy. See how many is there? It's real easy to miss the apps that someone else has put on there for you. Uh, those special apps that you might think you've lost. So what I do is I go to the settings and then I go to applications and then I go to the app store at the top. Click that on and I go to the settings in the app store and you go down here where it says hide cloud apps and you turn it on. Okay, now when you go back to the app store by holding down the home button, clicking apps, you have less to look at. So you will find those special apps that someone added on there. And that makes it pretty simple. Now, if you didn't put those special apps on yourself, look for this app right here. If that app's on there, you can go to that app and you can add those apps back on there or get different apps, say that maybe some of those other apps aren't working, like this one, or that one, or that one, or that one, or that one. If those have stopped working, you can delete those apps. And if they're not working, they need deleted. If they're, you know, not going to update on their own or do anything out, they need deleted. And the way you delete those apps, this is one way if you're on here, you press the menu bar. Let me turn the light on here so you can see my remote. You press those three lines right there, right beside the home button. And it's going to pop up on the bottom of the screen. It says, uninstall. And then you can uninstall that app. Just like that. Do you want to uninstall that app? Say, okay. And I'm not scared because if I want that app back, all I got to do is go back on this app and add it. And I'm not going to show you how to do that. You're going to have to find another video how to do that. I'm just showing you the apps. If, if you bought one of these apps that have special apps on it and they're not working correctly, do what I did to find this app right here. And then go to that app and it's pretty easy to follow once you get to it. Another way you can find the app that you've lost is you can go to your settings and over to your applications again. And go down to where it says Manage Installed Applications. And another thing, before you click Manage Installed Applications, it's going to show you how much internal space you have left. If you're getting low, you need to get rid of the stuff you're not using. And the stuff that's not working. And I'm going to tell you, if you have that special app called KODI on there, just putting it on there is going to run your way over there. And then all the data that it collects is going to cause that uh, problem. And when you have very little storage, the apps won't work. They can't play those, uh, those special apps can't play those uh, special shows that you're trying to watch. So click Manage Installed Applications, and here's a list of every app that's installed on this Fire Stick. And another way of giving yourself more storage is going to those apps. Say, like, for instance, this one right here, and click on it. You go down here and clear the data. Now, I don't suggest you clear the data if you've never dealt with this app before because it's going to have a special number on it when you open it. And that special number, if you don't know it, you're going to have to go find another special number. So, but I'm going to clear the data on mine and it'll make you click it twice. And that's going to give me more storage right there already. Let's go back and see if it changes. Anybody remember what we had when we started? <laughs> I don't at 1.82 so it didn't really give me anything doing that one but let's say like if I uninstall one of them 
Uh, I don't want to install that. I like that. Let's uninstall this and I'll add it back later. Okay, we had 1.82, was it? 1.82. So let's see if it actually helps. And let's go to uninstall that. Click on it. Choose uninstall. Hit it. Are you sure you want to uninstall? Yes, I'm sure. And then let's go back. We had 1.82. See if it helped at all. 1.90. So yeah, we gained some. And uh, it pays to clear your data though also on them. All it's going to do when you clear your data is ask you some questions when you come back on. Uh, you can clear your YouTube data, all that stuff. So that's a good way. Another way to make it run smoother is to keep it from collecting data. You want to go over to your applications again. Uh, no, that's preferences. You want to go over to your preferences and to your privacy settings right there. And you want to turn all this off. Interest-based ads off, collect app usage data off, device usage data off, and you're not going to collect data. So that'll help you out also. I hope the video helped you out in finding your lost app and how to fix it and add it back.